Your girl saves some money. Y'all know I suck at last names, right? So this is no surprise. Say that five times fast. Say that one times fast. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny Taylor, and today we're back in my notebook corner of the house. You can see some empty slots. I have recently cleared out the books that I have been reading to get them out of the way because your girl made an online order. Long story short, if you haven't heard about Book Outlet, Book Outlet is an online website where you can buy books for greatly discounted prices. <laughs> Usually most of them just have like a little mark, like one little mark on the bottom here. If that's the worst imperfection, I'll take them because usually they look brand new except for that tiny little dot on the bottom or the little mark that you're never going to notice. They happen to have a sale where if you spent X amount of money, you got X amount off. So of course I went with the highest amount that you could get off. So I had to spend the highest amount, but it's okay because I got 20 books, I think. I'm going to go ahead and do the math just so you can be um, blown away with me. For 20 books, I spent $82.80, which makes the average for each book $4.14. And after you hear the original prices, you'll know why that is completely awesome. I'm going to try not to go into too much detail about each book because we could be here forever since there's 20 of them, but I do want to mention each one that I got. The original price that it would be if you bought it off of Amazon as of right now and the price that I actually paid for it and then we're gonna put them back in their little empty spots. I tried to leave a blank space for everyone. My bookshelf is currently organized by author from A to Z alphabetical. So we're gonna start with the person that is right on top. So to my great surprise, I didn't already own this. I've read the book before I believe in high school and I've seen the movie a thousand times but I finally decided I wanted to own the book and I don't like buying the movie cover books so I got the original cover. This is Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Kabowski. Chabowski? Stephen C. We're gonna call it Stephen C. I can't even go into it. If you haven't seen the movie, you need to see the movie. It'll break your heart. But if you want to read the book so you can be even more heartbroken, because you know, anytime a book goes into detail, you're gonna cry. The book's way worse than the movie. But it's in the best way, and it'll just, it'll mess with you in a great way, and just, it'll open your eyes to the world around you. So Perks of Being a Wallflower was $8.59 for me originally, or if you went and bought it off of Amazon right now, it's roughly about $14. So Chabuski, you should be going right here. Welcome to your new home. Next is Ivory and Bone by Julie Eshbra. Um, I do believe that there is a second book out of this, but I wanted to go ahead and just give the first one a try, see if I love it go on Book Outlet if it's there and get it again later. Ivory and Bone on Amazon right now is about $17.99. I paid $5.89. Can't wait to get into this. This totally looks like it's right up the alley of the books that I've been reading lately with The Cruel Prince and Ace of Shades. I can't wait to get into this one probably when I finish reading Wild Things, which is the current book that I am on. The next book that I got is The Accident Season by Moira Foyley Doyle. We're gonna pretend like I said that right. Foyley Doyle. So on Amazon, this is going for $10.99 as the paperback version and I paid $3.79. The next two books are by the same author, Heidi Helig. So they are a part of a series, The Girl From Everywhere and The Ship Beyond Time. If you ask my sister, it's not okay to have one part of the book in paperback and one part in hardback, but it's just how it worked out. I'm not upset about it. It's going to be okay. So The Girl From Everywhere goes for $9.99 currently on Amazon. I got it for $3.19. And then this is part two. This is The Ship Beyond Time. The hardcover goes for $17.99 spent and I spent $6.39. The next book that I got is The Girl I Used to Be by April Henry. The Girl I Used to Be usually goes for $10.99 and I got it for $3.19. These next two books are also from the same author. So it is S.J. Jones and it is The Winter Song and The Shadow Song. So Winter Song, again, it seems like it's just right up my alley of the books that I have been reading lately. So this also might be one of my next little series that I pick up as if I need to pick up another series that I'm going to have to wait on books for. Winter Song is the first of the series, so it is originally $18.99, and I got it for $6.99. And then the second book of the series is Shadow Song. Shadow Song also goes for $18.99, and I got it for $7.49, so still about an $11 savings. The next book that I picked up is The First Time She Drowned by Carrie Clutter. This goes for $10.99 on Amazon right now, and I paid $3.79. And this one's about a mental institution, and you're going to see a running theme because I got a few of those matching that description. Yet another book dealing with mental illnesses, voices in your head, doctors trying to figure you out. Is A Madness So Discreet by Mandy McGinnis. I have to slow that down or I'll say it wrong. Originally this is $9.99 and I got it for $3.19. A book that I have also been waiting on for a very long time is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I have heard 
so many great things about this. By the way, this book is huge for it being first of a series. There's going to be a second one coming out pretty soon, I believe, so I went ahead and got the first one while I could find it on sale. So you can even see that there's a sticker on this one that says it would retail for $12.88 with 35% off, and originally it was $19.99. And your girl got it for six dollars and ninety nine cents. I cannot wait to add this to my to be read list because this just keeps growing. Next up is the Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed. There's even another sticker back here that says it was eighteen dollars and ninety nine cent originally. And let's see what I paid six dollars and ninety nine cent. I will take it. So you may have recently seen that on my to be read list is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I went ahead and got the second book, Thunderhead. So according to this, it's originally listed for eighteen dollars and ninety nine cent. And it was on sale for $16.14. Guess what your girl got it for? This is actually the most expensive and still such a good savings. $9.69. I also picked up The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. Again, there's another sticker. Originally listed for $10.99. was on sale for $9.39. And I got it for... $3.79. I seriously think today is the day that I run out of space because even though I moved the other books out of the way, I'm still running short on space over here. The next book I picked up is by Rhiannon Thomas. It is Long May She Rain. Do I even have to tell you? It just goes along with the things that I'm currently like in love with and reading all of the time. This is originally $17.99 and I got it for $6.39. And they're all so beautiful. There's nothing wrong with them. Just a tiny little slash. The next book is by Pernell Van Arsdale. I think I'm saying it right maybe at least slightly close to what it's supposed to be and it's the beast is an animal there's another sticker on here saying $11.99 and then it was on sale for $7.78 and I got it for $4.29 you may have recently seen that a movie was coming out called everything everything well I bought the book version before I even go to bother to rent the movie because I'm sure it's out of theaters right now. But this is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. It was originally $10.99 and I got it for $4.29. Three more and two of them go together. So by Suzanne Young is a little series. I believe there's also two more parts to this but these are the two that Book Outlet had available. So I figured I'd start there see if I need to continue it. So it is the program and the treatment. I got both of these roughly for $3.19 and they were both roughly priced for $11 or $12. Lastly is The Goodbye Days by Jeff Zittner. And The Goodbye Days currently goes for $8.60 and I paid $5.23. So I know that was really quick and kind of almost probably sounding sporadic, but I just wanted to show what great deals you can get with Book Outlet. I really support them and love them. Most of the books on this shelf are probably from Book Outlet unless I just went and spent way too much money at Books A Million because I'm bad about doing that too. I love to get a good deal so I hope you enjoyed and now you are inspired to go find some books on book outlet there are a ton of options trust me you are not limited at all I have gotten some books for 99 cent there before so look far and wide behind all that rattled the windows Anyways, look far and wide through all of the books that they have to offer and see what you can find for yourself. I'm sure you will find a lot and they do that sale multiple times a year so hopefully you can grab it sometime soon. Maybe around Christmas they'll do it again. I'm not sure. I'm just encouraging you to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next Saturday for another one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!